Do you know that everything here has been drawn? Do you know that this park has been designed? That even you can go up to Big Meadow and you can go into the exhibit and they have a landscape architect's place and people just walk by it and not realize the significance of that exhibit. In that exhibit, everything that you use here was planned out by somebody. Somebody sat and thought, okay, if I drive my car up to Skyline Lodge, I'm gonna need to use a bathroom. I'm gonna want cabins. And somebody had to design that in the first place. Somebody else came along and said, no, that's not working for this time period and knock it down and redesign or let it go for nature to take it over. Hello, my name is Sandy Kessler Kaminsky. Uh, my chosen meetings are drawing and painting. I try to reuse, reuse materials in my work. Um, for the drawings, um, I, my husband brought home some leftover drawings from a company that was doing um, dialysis machines and I started drawing on those and ever since then I've been hot to find these plans and stuff that I use for my work. When I researched Shenandoah, because I'd never been here, I'll be very honest, I'd never been here until the day I set foot for the residency, but I had done some research about it and I realized how much of it was planned, so I knew they had to have some drawings. I knew what started here had to relate to what I was doing. One of the most interesting things, and it's silly, is the drinking fountains here in this park um, and how they were, were have changed over the years, um, but the function is still the same, and every person who comes to here will interact with a drinking fountain. The basic infrastructure, and if you stop to think about what does it take, you're like, oh, it's a drinking fountain, but think about all the pipes and plumbing that it takes to bring that to you. All the planning that it takes to make that fountain work and not freeze and not explode like all that supportive infrastructure. And I think it's that to me symbolizes, especially in this park that was so planned, um, like this is like the best show because I mean, like you go to a play and you know there's stuff going on backstage, you know there's lights and camera and action. You come here and you totally forget that all of that infrastructure is here. In both workshops, we had everybody draw their favorite place and then after you drew it we switched you took out colored pencils and then you modified that person's drawings pretty much the way I do and I was really surprised at how this became like the best icebreaker ever and that's not what I thought it was going to be <laughs> but it did accomplish the goal that I wanted which was to have people understand when they walk into a space or a place, especially now in our modern world, somebody's probably been through and designed part of that. Most of them didn't think about the space that they're inhabiting or the chairs they sit on. And I think raising that awareness hopefully changed their perspective a little bit. I feel like I'm at a pivot point in my art career and I think this has just sent me off in the right direction. I can't thank uh, the trust enough. I can't thank the park enough. It's just like, it's like the best place to be. It's really cool. I'm gonna bring my family back. I've been bragging about it, telling everybody to come. So yeah, thank you. Hi, I'm Jessica Cochalone, and I am the Executive Director of the Shenandoah National Park Trust, and we are proud to be the philanthropic partner of the Shenandoah National Park. Our mission is to invest philanthropic dollars in initiatives and programs that ensure Shenandoah remains the crown jewel of the national park system, an economic driver for the region, and a national treasure for all to enjoy today and tomorrow. If you are interested in learning more about Shenandoah National Park Trust and supporting this program, please visit us online at snptrust.org.